Good morning guys, I'm starting a vlog very quickly right now because I'm supposed to be starting work in five minutes and I'm still in the car and I need to go and I'm supposed to be there like five minutes before my shift starts so I'm quickly saying hello. I'm working and then I'm catching up with my mom, then I'm going grocery shopping, then I'm going home and hopefully I'll vlog it today. I've got other things to tell you as well but yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I've got to go to work. I am in the grocery <laughs> store with mum. She's helping me choose all the things that I need, teaching me how to be an adult. I've got lots and lots and lots of things. Mum's got some things there too, but I've got lots of things. Get into the end, aren't we, mum? Only we like one aisle left. Is it weird shopping with for my own kitchen, mum? It's weird, Rachel, pushing the trolley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't really come shopping with you. No. It was just you and um, Tony. That go shopping I'm not needed <laughs> hey guys so I'm home now and my hair is in a bun <laughs> I don't know why I needed to explain that I'm in my room I am just going to spend the afternoon slash evening cleaning and tidying and doing all that sort of stuff because I haven't really had a chance to do that yet I haven't even spent a night at home yet like as in I've slept here but I've gotten home at like 9 o'clock 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock like I've just been so busy that I haven't had a chance to do a lot of things so I need to set up my desk there's part of it I need to move that over to this corner hello I need to move that mirror out of the way I need to put all this in the recycling I need to unpack this last box which is mostly just like desk sort of stuff just kind of tidy my whole room up and then maybe like vacuum or do something else I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. Hello guys. I'm sitting here on my new little tripod. Welcome to my kitchen. Actually, it's just the wall of my kitchen, but I thought I would do a grocery haul because I did quite a large grocery shop. I went with my mum and we just got all of the things that you would need for a house, like cleaning stuff. I also got food stuff, obviously, but just like a bunch of random stuff. So I'll go grab my bags and I'll show you what I got. <laughs> Lovely. First things. Oh my gosh, these bags make so much noise. Okay, first thing I got, cling wrap, baking paper, and aluminum foil, because they are necessary. My roommate has a cat. Hello. Do you wanna meet my friends? Hello. Hello. She talks a lot. That's my roommate's cat. She's really, really friendly. Then I got a bunch of these little tuna cans, like tuna in spring water. I really, really like tuna. I like adding it to a bunch of different things and I especially love it with avocado. So that is something that I always eat. I also have some red kidney beans and some coconut milk to make some different dinners with. I also cheated a bit. <laughs> I'm a busy person, okay? And I got like some um, recipe bases, just like those like pre-mixed stuff. So I have butter chicken, spicy chili con carne, which is what my mom makes, which I really like and Thai green curry. I also got some bananas. I got a couple of apples because I eat bananas more than I eat apples. And I got some carrots. I feel like this is such boring adult stuff. I'm so sorry if this is really boring. I got some soap. It smells so good. It's pomegranate and mango. It's just like the bar soap because sometimes I like using that for certain things. And then I got some mints because I needed some. I also have some laundry detergent, super fun. I have some spray and wipe, like Ajax spray and wipe stuff. I have some cream cleansers, kind of like GIF, just for cleaning stuff. And one of those scrubby things for my dishes that you put. This one is really cool because you can put like the laundry detergent in it and it like sits in there, it's really cool. I have some muesli bars for snacks for uni. I have some canola oil spray, some rice, some tomato sauce, some garlic bread, some cheese, peanut butter, like a little mini one, so cute. I have some staples because I bought a stapler. It's just a plain white one. I was gonna buy the one from Kmart that's like marble printed, but it really wouldn't match my room aesthetic. So I just got a plain white one from Woolworths because it was like really cheap and I need them for my uni worksheets that I have to do. And I don't have any. I also got some just like sticky tape because that's kind of necessary and some canola oil for cooking. And the last bag, I have some mesh scours, which is just for like, hardcore cleaning. I have some mayonnaise, 
because I like to have that with my tuna. I have some pink Himalayan salt because it was pink. Not even kidding. I just have some hand wash. I was gonna get the pink one, but it wouldn't really match my aesthetic as much. So I just got the white one because it would match better. And I just got some more reusable food storers, little containers, because I do all my meal preps with these, but sometimes they break. So got some new ones. Now I'm gonna put this all away. It was actually not as expensive as I thought it would be, which is really good. But yeah, I just have those things. So I'm gonna go put them away. So I'm sitting in my room and I'm trying to build my desk, but I realized that I needed this tripod thing is so good. I need to show you it. But anyway, that's <laughs> beside the point. I was building my desk that I bought from IKEA like ages ago and I realized that I needed a screwdriver and I don't own one because I I don't know, I just moved. It's not one of the first things I thought of buying. But I improvised with a pair of scissors and let me show you how I'm doing it. Like, look how good this tripod is. I can just like, okay, there we go. So I have to screw these screws in and what I'm doing is getting the scissors and twisting it. Oops, it does that sometimes, but you know, if you keep going, it goes all the way in and you don't even need a screwdriver and you might break the scissors, but ow. <laughs> this is so dangerous, but it's really the only option I have. I'm trying to be What's the word? Resourceful. There we go. And you know what? In the next clip, I bet you I'll be showing you my newly made desk. So don't judge me. I'm getting it done. I just built a desk with a pair of scissors. Or like, well, I put legs on it. But guys, I don't think I've showed you. This is the tripod that I filmed with Hello Feet. <laughs> That's gross. Um, basically, my phone just sticks in this part, like goes through there. And then I can hold it like this. So it gives me some sort of like length. Sorry about the mess there. That's like oh, such a bad. Yeah, and then I can like fold it out to become a tripod. Eight dollars from Kmart. Go get you some. I have a desk. Yay! Now I'm just going to basically decorate it, kind of, I guess. Yeah. Hey guys, it is Sunday night, and this clip is like quite a few days after the last vlog you watched, I think. Actually, no, was that just yesterday? Oh, that was Saturday. <laughs> but I have a whole lot of letters to open. So I thought I'd just include it at the end of this vlog because I know some of you guys like to watch this but I have a feeling that it might be boring to other people so if you don't want to watch this you don't have to, you can click out of the video now but I love opening these letters on camera and reading them on camera it just makes me so happy as you guys probably would have known so I'm going to do that oh by the way guys please be patient with me while I'm trying to get settled and moved and stuff with opening letters replying to letters doing all that sort of stuff it is or even like comments on videos it is so difficult right now I have just been like I've had the the busiest week probably I've had in a very, very long time. I'm still trying to work. I worked five days this week. I moved in this week and I'm still doing full-time uni. So it's a bit, bit crazy, but I'm trying to keep up with it. So let's read some letters. This one's from Ella in New Zealand. I really admire your dedication to God and your faith. You have shown me that God has great things planned for every single one of us here on earth. I am writing on a gloomy day in Auckland, New Zealand, and have seen how all the other letters have made you so happy. So here I am writing to you. Rachel, you have inspired me to grow my connection with the Lord because I have seen how driven and kind you are, and I want it to be too in mine. Thank you so much, Ella. You are so sweet. She also sent me this gorgeous little necklace, and it's got a little owl on it, and she says... I want you to have this owl necklace. It should always remind you to be wise and thoughtful in the start of your new life as a strong woman. Thank you so much, Ella. That is so sweet. This one is from... Wait a second. I feel like I've gotten one from here before. It's Keely. Keely is a girl that I had a letter from previously, but I lost her address, like her return address, so I couldn't write her letter, so she sent me another one. That is so sweet. It was so amazing seeing you open my letter and just a reminder on how normal and real you are. That's what I love about you and your channel. You're so honest and real and it is incredible how much you love and appreciate your fans. Thank you so much, Keely. I literally already have your like letter all written up. It's even got your name on the front. I just need to actually put the address on it and send it away. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Keely. I was so like desperate to get your address because I felt so bad losing it. This one is from Western Australia. 
This is my cat Rhea. Her age is unknown because we bought her from the cat haven, but we think she's about 16 years old. She's deaf, very loud, very needy, doesn't like cuddles and vomits everywhere. <laughs> she's still cute. She's still cute. I'm writing to you because you're the only YouTuber that I feel a certain connection to. I mean, firstly, you live in Australia. <laughs> I found that amazing, even though we're literally 4,329 kilometers away. Gosh, that's specific. <laughs> So this is from Zoe. She lives in Perth, Western Australia. She's 14 years old. She's in grade nine and she's in the music program for flute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Zoe. You're so lovely. Wait a second. I had a letter from Toya before as well. Her envelopes are always so cute. So Toya has already sent me a letter. So she said that in here, but she said she wanted to write me another one because she's not sure if it got to me. I'm really sorry if I haven't sent out your letter to you. I have written it. Obviously just with moving and stuff, it has been insane and I've had no time to like send it away. But um, she sent me another letter, which is so lovely. Oh my gosh, she wants to do an undergraduate degree in, the, in Doctor of Medicine. It requires an OP1 and not even all applicants with an OP1 get in. Wow. Obviously this startled me and made me want to back out already, but I persisted because I had in the back of my mind that I wanted to achieve just like you. Oh my gosh, you can so do that. If you work hard, I'm sure you can do that. And even if you don't get it straight away, like there are always ways around it. But if that's your dream, go get it. This one, it has glitter in it. Guys, don't try to trick me. I know you, if you send glitter, glitter to me because I can hear it. I don't want to open it because it's going to get everywhere and I'm sitting on my bed. I see it. Oh no. What the? She's from Ireland. Hey Rachel, my name is Emily and I'm from Northern Ireland. What? I love your videos and find them so relatable as I'm 16, almost 17 on the 11th of April. So similar to your age and I love seeing your journey through high school to now when you are starting uni even though it's different to here. The clips of your friends make me so happy as you are so similar to my group and they make me super excited for the next couple of years with my friends when we start to drive and can fill the back seat slash boots with blankets and go on little road trips around the north coast of my home, Northern Ireland, which is so beautiful by the way. You should totally visit someday. I will be sure to say hi. I really hope I get to go to Ireland one day. It looks amazing. You inspire me to work hard for my dreams and make the most of my time for school and spending time with my friends. But most of all, I admire your faith in God and how you can show it and talk about it so casually in your vlogs, spreading it among the thousands of subscribers you have. Whenever I see a clip of you speaking about church or reading the Bible, I feel like a proud mom slash best friend, which is odd considering I haven't met you. If you haven't already guessed, I'm also a Christian and I'm so encouraged by your faith as I've heard you talk about it in videos when I needed it most. Wow, thank you so much. Here's a little card which I got on Saturday at a woman's beauty day at my church. I like to keep it alongside the others on the corner of my mirror to look at each day. And this is a little card and on one side it says, be patient, be gentle, be humble, be loving. That is so cute. And then on this side it says, do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When I go through troubles, I will be with you. You are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. Isaiah 43 verse 1 to 4. That is so beautiful. That is such a good idea. I'm going to stick them on my mirror so I can look at it every day. Thank you so much, Emily. That is so crazy. I can't believe I have viewers in Ireland. What? My life is crazy. Okay, I have two more to go. This one is from Victoria. Rachel Catherine. Dear Rachel, this is the second letter I'm writing to you because I reread the first one and it was absolutely <laughs> My name is Rish, Risha, Risha, Risha. I'm in year 10 and I'm from Victoria. The very first vlog I watched of you was when you tried to climb out of your window onto the roof while trying to film it at the same time. And I just found that so relatable and funny. I had to subscribe. Do you guys remember that vlog? Your channel actually has helped me through some extremely difficult times. You motivated me to get a job and also motivated me to work hard. Your work ethic is so admirable and my goal is to be able to balance life just as well as you do. Although I'm still working on it. Dude, so am I. So am I especially since moving out. I'm not a religious person, but the passion you have for your faith is beautiful, and I hope to be as passionate as that about something one day. That is so nice. Thank you so much. 
Also say hi to Georgia, Anita, Skay. You, I think you were the first person to spell Skay correctly. Guys, if you ever want to know how to spell Skay, it's S-K-E-A. Izzy and Renee. Also say hi to your beautiful mum. <sighs> My heart. The last letter for today from a girl named Gemma in Queensland. A. Hey. Your handwriting is so neat. Dear Rachel, hi, I'm Gemma. And as you probably saw on the front of this letter, I'm from Brisbane too. I love being able to have somebody for advice when I'm stressing over assignments and not feeling prepared at all. And it's amazing to know that you're there. Thank you so much, Gemma. Oh my gosh, you guys are like, like too kind. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I'm in the best mood ever. So thank you guys so much. You're you're the you're the best. Good night guys. I'll talk to you another time very soon, I'm sure. Goodbye.